to my channel so today we are going to discuss about cholenchyma cholenchyma are also simple permanent tissue and uh, simple means they are made up of only one type of cells and they are permanent tissue and cholenchyma are there to provide mechanical strength to those plants which haven't undergone any secondary growth means a young plant having a stem green stem has got cholenchyma that keeps it firm okay that helps in giving strength to the stem so cholenchyma the word means the <clears throat> literal meaning is cola it is made up of two words cola means glue and enchyma word means tissue okay so the tissues which have glue between their cells so here the tissue actually what is there it is having some thickenings why we say glue because there are some thickenings actually and these thickenings are due to cellulose and pectin okay so we call them pectocellulose thickenings okay thickenings and actually these thickenings okay thickening already written okay so these thickenings are it they are having hemicellulose in them and also pectin okay so these thickenings are present outside the cell wall of these cells so there are some special thickenings in these and the main function of these tissues is to provide mechanical strength okay and we have to keep in mind one thing very very important thing that these are not lignified there is no lignin in it because when we talk about sclerenchyma uh, another type of simple permanent tissue there the walls are lignified so these walls are non lignified if in some book you find the word lignin used in case of cholenchyma then that is not correct as these are non lignified okay there is no lignin found in cholenchyma but hemicellulose and pectin as you know lignin is harder okay it's a very very hard material made up of highly branched polysaccharides so this is very hard material as compared to hemicellulose and pectin so cholenchyma are, are they they make the cell walls or these tissues hard but not as hard as sclerenchyma that we will be discussing later on so cholenchyma cells the cells jo hain wo non lignified hain unke andar koi lignin nahi hai there is no lignin okay and these cells are shape inki kya ho sakti hai they could be circular they could be oval they could be <coughs> elongated they could be <coughs> polyhedral and these cells generally occur अकर बिलो एपिडर्मिस एपिडर्मिस एज यू नो इज द आउटर मोस्ट एपी मीन्स आउट डर्मिस मीन्स स्किन आउटर स्किन मीन्स द इफ वी सी इफ वी कट एनी ट्रांसफर सेक्शन ऑफ एनी पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट वेदर इट इज स्टेम और रूट देन द फर्स्ट लेयर द आउटर मोस्ट लेयर ऑफ cells is known as epidermis and just below epidermis epidermis generally is made up of parenchyma okay epidermis consists of parenchyma cells and just below this in many stems there is another layer of cholenchyma a few layers of cholenchyma may be present there that's why we say they are present below the epidermis so, so anything that is found below the epidermis is known as the layers below epidermis are called hypodermis hypo means below dermis okay so they occur below epidermis as hypodermis okay generally they are found in hypodermis then they are found in petioles of leaves okay they are in petioles of leaf leaf petiole you understand the leaf stalk that is having a lot of cholenchyma 
okay then they are also found in uh, stems herbaceous they are present in stems of herbaceous plants green stems okay then also found in the petiole then there is in the midrib also they are present okay they keep the uh, this plant this leaf intact and mainly their purpose the purpose of being in a plant is to provide mechanical strength okay so their main role is to provide mechanical strength and that too in green stems okay so next <coughs> we see and uh, also they are also present on the ridges of and some fruits okay and they may be present in patches like in ridges uh, on some gods like uh, on karela the ridges on karela the bitter god as ridges also they are found okay ridges on bitter god they are found so pollen kaima mainly they keep the plant sturdy okay they give some they make it um, a little what uh, hard and uh, then we have the types it's a very simple thing and uh, let's see how huh? types in types also i will tell you how they look like i haven't drawn in the diagram we, i have drawn the simple cells but here we need to show that they are they have thickenings at the at some ends intercellular spaces they are having thickenings like this so these thickenings we need to show see when we draw in the anatomy we draw in ts then if we are drawing the cells like this then we simply draw parenchyma we simply draw like this okay epidermis we have simply drawn like this but when we have to show parenchyma then we have to show thickenings okay and this is the most usual kind of parenchyma uh, we are drawing okay which is having thickenings at the ends at the corners actually okay so we draw it like this and then let's discuss its types so these thickening is due to pectin and hemicellulose and now let's see how many types of parenchyma are there so parenchyma there there are four types of parenchyma okay and uh, these four types are based on where the thickening material is lying in the cells so four types we have first we have angular in angular as i have just drawn they are present at the angles okay these are two cells adjacent cells three cells and the thickenings will be lying at the angles at the ends okay so here they are thickened so this type of cells are called angular parenchyma so they are having these these thickenings here then we have so these are the most common type here this angular is most common this is most common type then we have the lamellate one in lamellate what is there the cells have thickenings on the these tangential walls only so the thickenings will be like this thickenings will be only on these walls like this okay and the third type we are having are lacunate the thickenings are present only in lacuna lacuna see these cells do not have intercellular spaces but there may be a few intercellular very small intercellular spaces may also be present and here in case of lacunate type uh, intercellular spaces during only towards intercellular spaces there are wall thickenings okay so here the cells are connected tightly with each other so no no thickenings but wherever there are intercellular spaces there they have 
thickening so in this case the thickenings will be here only as this part is the intercellular space so it will be like this these are the wall thickenings okay so lacunate so this is lacuna so in the la the lacuna is surrounded by the thickening material hemicellulose and pectin the fourth type are known as annular annular in this case the thickening is as you know annule annule is a ring so the thickening is on all the four sides so these cells have thickenings on all sides like this but remember these are not sclerenchyma these cells and one more important thing that these cells are living cells so we need to put a dot okay which will represent our nucleus and these are all living cells having the same type of organization as a typical plant cell has means they are having a <clears throat> what a large central vacuole a nucleus then cytoplasm on the periphery but when we draw an anatomy simply we put a dot to show that they are living cells and um, here this annular it is surrounded by the thickening on all sides but we should not confuse it with sclerenchyma as sclerenchyma are generally either they are dead cells or they have very little protoplasm okay young ones young sclerenchyma and now next one more important that the wall thickenings are not made up of lignin in case of colon gamma whereas in sclen gamma it will be of lignin okay okay so this is about the four types and uh, <clears throat> these examples you get in pitules like hooker beta stems they are green now so they are having this type of colon gamma in them instead of sclen gamma so this is about colon gamma main function is with mechanical support this is, this is all about colon gamma so thanks for watching please do like and share in next video we will be discussing sclerenchyma